Hey everyone! In this video we're going to talk a little bit about graphing. So we are going to talk about this formula y2 minus y1 equals m, m standing for slope, x2 minus x1. So this formula is called point slope form and we'll talk a little bit about how to remember what it's called and also how to use it in a little bit. But first, let's talk about where it comes from. So, this comes from the formula. If we were to divide this side by x2 minus x1 and do the same thing to this side, we will get y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals m. So, m standing for slope. So what this means is, if you had two points, let's say you had a point here, that is x2, y2, and you had a point over here that's x1, y1. So just any two points, you can figure out the slope that connects the points by finding the difference in the y value, so this difference, divided by the difference in the x values, this amount, which kind of makes sense because Another way to think of slope is rise over run. So between the two points, the rise and the run, you're able to figure out when you subtract the points. It wouldn't make a difference if we had said this point was x1, y1. It would make a difference if we said this point was x2, y1. And if we said this was x1, y2. That wouldn't work. They both have to be x1, x2, x, y2, or x1, y1 for this to work. Now let's do an example. So if you see a question, which you definitely will at some point, in my opinion, where you have two points. So you have the point 2, 4, and the point 1, 2. Whenever you have two points, use this formula. So let's say that this is x1, y1, x2, y2. All you need to do is plug everything into the formula. y2, we said was 2, minus y1 would be 4, equals m, x2 is 1, minus x1 is 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, equals m, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. If we divide both sides by negative 1, those will cancel out and we'll get 2 over 1 equals m. 2 over 1 is the same as 2 divided by 1, which is just 2. So what we've managed to find from those two points is the slope of the line that would connect them. So you will be asked, what is the equation of the line defined by having points at maybe 2, 4, and 1, 2. Finding the slope is just the first step in writing the equation of the line. So let's go back up here to our formula. We've got m equals 2. So this time, we only need to use one of the points. doesn't matter which one you use. I'm going to use the other one, I guess. And this time, all you have to do is change y2 to y in general, so any y, x2 to x in general. Any y and any x thrown into the formula that we're going to make would be a point that falls, we'll show you the point that falls on the line. So, y minus y1 with 4 equals m is 2, x minus x1 is 2. You could leave that there as the equation of the line. That would be the equation of the line in point-slope form. You might rather put it into slope-intercept form. To do that, what you need to do is get rid of these brackets. So we will distribute our 2 into the brackets. 2 times x would be 2x. 2 times negative 2 will be negative 4. We haven't done anything to this side, so we'll just leave it alone right now. We want to be able to say y equals mx plus b. y equals something. 
So, we need to get rid of the negative 4 over here so we can have y by itself. So let's add 4 to both sides. Those will cancel out and we'll get y equals 2x minus 4 plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So the equation of that line is y equals 2x. So I hope this is helpful. I have another video on slope-intercept form. So you might want to check that out.